the signs are clear. Buying on credit spreads the cost of an item over a period of time. A comfort for the customers. But the Consumer Affairs Department is concerned that the terms and conditions of our purchase agreements are not fully read and understood. This has led to misinterpretation of the law. Let's see a store, for example. He or she goes into the store, identifies the product. To complete the transaction, the clerk prints out the agreement and says to the customer, sign here, sign here, sign here. Very few consumers will read what they are signing on to. Others will just sign. Higher purchase transactions are governed by the Consumer Credit Act, Cap 13.15, and all agreements must be in keeping with this legislation. Subject to Section 26 within this legislation, the owner may exercise his or her right to recover unpaid goods. Under a higher purchase agreement, the good does not belong to the consumer until the final payment is made. And so, if there has been a breach of contract or a consumer has failed to make the monthly payments, the owner has the right to repossess his or her goods. However, this can be done only after the owner has given the consumer 21 days notice in writing of his or her intention to repossess. The owner must also give the consumer a period of not less than 10 days after the notice has been served to come in and make a payment. Now, if the consumer has already paid more than 70% of the higher purchase price, the owner cannot repossess without obtaining a court order. However, if less than 70% of the higher purchase price has been paid, once the owner has given the consumer sufficient notice in writing, the goods can be recovered or repossessed. The Consumer Affairs Department is providing additional education on higher purchase and other consumer-related transactions at the office on the corner of Miko and Coral Street in Castries. Consumers are encouraged to know their rights and responsibilities. Marvin St. Louis, reporting from the Ministry of Commerce.